what's going on YouTube? Hopefully the wind doesn't blow my little camera stand here over. But we're going to do something a little bit different. Or we're going to try to. I wouldn't say we're going to successfully do it. But we're going to try to do it. But I've been thinking about doing this video for a while. And just never really did it. Because my brain doesn't function like that. But we're going to do a little drop shot setup down here in this little creek. And see if we catch some of the bass or the crappie or whatever else is in here. And drop shot, if you don't know, it's a very, very popular technique for finesse bass fishing. And you can use it pretty much anywhere else. Now, mine, I'm just using a little you know, casting sinker, a little bell sinker, whatever you want to call it. It don't have to be a actual drop shot style weight. And you don't have to use actual drop shot hooks. I've just got a little eagle claw bait holder hook on here. close and the bait that we're going to play around with first i'm going to try a couple of different things and see how they like it but this is just a little six cents panorama two inch it's the gizzard shad color so we're going to get down here and see if we can catch some fish before this wind gets any worse than it is well that's looking pretty good down there it is a little bit breezier than i want to deal with so we're going to see what all we can catch with a little bit different technique and yes I did actually bring my net with me this time. That's, I think, two trips in a row that I've actually used it. I don't know. All right, the rod we're going to be using is an ACC crappie stick, six foot, one piece. It's a more finessey rod than the six foot medium that I have. This one's got a much, much softer tip. Shimano Stratic 1000, eight pound braid, down to a six pound fluorocarbon leader. I really hope my extra batteries are in my backpack because if not, they're in my vehicle. Which ain't a big deal because my vehicle's only like 30 feet up the hill, but oh, darn it. I'm getting a ton of bites. It's just they're not big enough to commit. It's probably a bunch of stinking little bluegill or something like that. All right, well, we have since broke off and had to retie, so we're back on this side of the bridge. I don't know why I just have a little bit more confidence on this side. And it also doesn't seem to have as many snags. I say that. Pretty little buck bass. Where's my phone? Gotta have a document from my log book. Got it on the little drop shot. Oh, slight belly flop. But the way you rig these things up, you want really you're supposed to have the hook pointing straight up like that. But I don't believe it matters. I've caught them with it sitting sideways like that. I've caught them with it sitting down like that. As long as you got a bait on there that they want, I don't think hook position matters. But the way that I'm working this is just casting it out there, letting it go to the bottom and just dragging it with a very slight little twitch, just dragging it along the bottom till you feel something biting. And with that sinker being in direct contact with the bottom, you're gonna feel a lot of, a lot of what feels like bites. And you gotta remember, hook sets are free. Fish. I had missed one, so I just let it fall back and started working it again. And then this little buck came along. Chill out. Another little buck. Now, one thing you need to know about fishing a drop shot is you definitely want to be using 
either monofilament or a leader simply because this is going to be down there rubbing along a lot of structure and sticks and rocks whatever and you don't want to lose a fish because of your braid getting damaged Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, dang it. <sighs> I missed a bite from one. Set the hook. Completely missed it. <laughs> and uh, one picked it up. And then it came off. It came back for it. <laughs> yeah. I missed it. Set the hook. Popped out. I let it sit there for a second and went back to the bottom and worked it a little bit. Felt a little tug. Let's get you back. Oh, belly flop, sorry. But you don't like I said, you don't have to have you know dedicated drop shot hooks. Like I said, I'm just using eagle claw bait holder hooks. Now these ain't the most needle point hooks, which would definitely help in my hook sets if I did use some real drop shot hooks. But if that's what you got on you, that'll work. Stay hooked, stay hooked, stay hooked. This one's a little bit better. <laughs> that one is quite a bit better. We're getting up to about a pound and a half in there and that thing's got some shoulders on it. And we may, no, oh, it's a, sm a spotted bass. You can tell a spotted bass from a large mouse by the jaw hinge shutting below or in front of the eye. So let's get you back. And I would not be opposed to repeating that but the way that one played out was I felt what was either my sinker sliding off of something and hitting another rock or something other. So I gave it a little twitch, like maybe something picked it up and nothing. And then as soon as it hit the bottom again, pow. More like pedal, pow. Howdy. Well, I'd be doing better if that wasn't happening. <laughs> I had a couple little bass here and there. That's about it. Uh, yeah, bass, little crappie, whatever wants to bite, really. Yeah, I got to renew that next month. Well, you're good. Got more days. Yeah. I don't know. I buy mine same day every year because yeah i never changed it from february i mean <laughs> right. i had to re-up it anyway so that makes sense yeah. i had to put a reminder on my phone that way i don't get in trouble yeah you can also um i don't know if you can do it right now but uh you can do the auto renew thing oh yeah 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 i forgot just, about that just, that's one thing you gotta be careful with though i mean if you're uh if you're uh debit card or anything yeah fires because we've had a couple people that happened to and they're like well yeah well, i had it <laughs> Yeah, I, just, I forgot about that. I may just go ahead and turn that on so I don't have to worry about it. I got you. <laughs> I'm going well, to try until you do the same. Yep. And there you go. Another prime example of how a game warden interaction should go.
it was the same guy that checked me a couple of weeks ago. I mean, it's he's doing his job. If you ain't got your license on you, or refuse to get one, I mean, I understand why people don't want to get one. I totally get that. But refusing to get your license, all you're doing is putting yourself willingly into a worse situation if you were to get checked without one. But don't get me wrong. I do understand why people refuse to get a hunting or fishing license. But again, you get checked and cause a scene because you ain't got your license, you get fines and all that stuff. I mean, really, would you take a paying, well, I just get the Avid Angler package, which is like 60 bucks a year. Would you rather pay 60 bucks? Or would you rather pay hundreds of dollars in fines and all that stuff? I mean, it doesn't make any sense to me to cause a scene over the whole license thing. Oh, I switched up colors because I figured maybe, maybe they might want something a little bit different in this water. I mean, it's super clear water. Chill, man. You are hooked much better than I thought you were. And apparently you wasn't. <laughs> That one just fell out. Another little buck. But, yeah. Figured I would switch up baits. This right here is... I'll get you the package here. Demolition baits. They are pretty much... Identical to Bobby Garland's. So the same pintail, or pintail style baits. The body itself is a little bit shorter than Bobby Garland's. And... I think they're a better deal than Barbara Garland. There's 25 to a pack of these, $3.99 where I got them at, Fishtails in Cleveland. Whereas Bobby Garland's are almost $4, $4.50 for a pack of 18, depending on where you look at. Don't get me wrong, Bobby Garland definitely works, and I will continue to use them. But 25 for $3.99, that beats 18 for four all day it was a pretty solid little trip like I honestly came down here not really expecting to make this video happen but kind of thinking i might need to stay a little bit longer now i don't know if y'all can see them or not but all those birds down there they've been working their way up this creek so that tells me there's shad down there or whatever other kind of little bait fish anyway drop shot fishing it's definitely a slower paced way to fish and definitely a more finessey technique um like i said i'm more into power fishing and moving baits more but sometimes you just gotta slow down and sometimes the fish that's just all they want is something really really slow moving still watching these birds <laughs> but you know it is a little bit more tackle to have to deal with you know you have to have some weights you have to have hooks and really need a leader if you're going to use braid because you're, you're going to be around a lot of structure and it being a more finessey technique especially in cold water like this they're going to be able to examine that bait a lot a lot more than if you were fishing a little bit faster and just you know running a spinner or a crank or something like that so give the drop shot a try you can do it with just about any size bait any style bait like you know your straight tail worms your stick baits swim baits work really good as drop shot baits you can do it with just chunks of night crawler stuff like that it, there's ain't much that doesn't work with a drop shot anyway i'm going to try to figure out what kind of thumbnail i want to make for this video and get home and get this one edited actually i might go fish a little bit longer i got about an hour to fish so anyway hope you like the video